Okay, welcome to the main part of our lesson. So remember, we are going to be writing descriptions of vegetables. Now remember, I'm your audience. I don't like any of these vegetables and you are writing to me to make me want to eat these vegetables. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to recap some of our types of words. Now, I think you have done these already. So we're going to look at nouns and adjectives today because that's what I would like to see in your writing. So a noun, or before I tell you actually, pause the video and tell the person next to you what you think a noun is. Off you go. Okay, so a noun is a person, place, idea, thing or feeling. Pop your hand up if you got that right with your partner. Super. So some examples are potato, vegetables, food, hunger. Okay. Out of that list, potato, vegetables, food and hunger. To the person next to you, can you name one of those that you can touch and one you cannot? Potatoes, vegetable, food and hunger. Pause. Okay, so you can touch a potato, you can touch vegetables, you can touch food, but you cannot touch hunger. So in front of a noun, we often have a, an, the, these, some, or are. These are called determiners. We will look at those, all of these things at the juice school as well. So the potato, a potato. Okay, so we're using nouns today. And the next type of word we're going to be looking at is adjectives. Again, before I tell you what an adjective is, can you pause the video and tell the person next to you what you think an adjective is? Off you go. Okay, an adjective is a describing word and it tells you more about the noun. Who put your hand up if you said it was a describing word? Well done. So, some examples are those tasty vegetables, some fresh carrots. A bright orange food, our favourite flavour, the carrots are fresh. All those words in pink are the adjectives. So tasty, fresh, bright, orange, favourite, fresh. There are adjectives to describe that carrot. I would like you again, we're going to pause the video. Can you tell the person next to you? Can you give, find another adjective, another describing word for the carrot? Off you go. Brilliant. You can share, you can pause the video for even longer if you'd like to and share your ideas as the class. So adjectives sometimes come next to their now. So as you can see on the screen, the pink word is next to the blue word. The blue word is the noun. So we've got tasty, vegetable, adjective, noun. Okay. This is what I would like to see in your writing. Okay, now I want you to remember um, to persuade me, to make me want to eat that vegetable. Okay, I'm going to read these to you and I want you to tell me how they make you feel. These completely fresh vegetables will thrill, thrill your family. Try a tangy, juicy onion today. Ooh, tangy and juicy. We only sell beautifully crunchy carrots. Mmm. I quite like crunchy food. Perfect spicy parsnips are a treat for any child. Okay, pause the video. Tell me, tell your, tell your talk partner, tell the person sitting next to you how that makes you feel. Off you go. Okay, you can share with the class how it makes you feel if you like. Oh, I might like to eat an onion from that, actually, because I like things that are tangy and juicy. I'm not sure about the parsnips because I don't really like anything spicy, but it says a treat for any child. So mm, I quite like a treat. Okay, so think about that when you're doing your writing today. Another thing I want you to think about is, have you ever felt sorry for a vegetable? I feel quite sorry for Brussels sprouts. Nobody likes them says here no one likes us we want people to think of us in a more positive way okay so let's have a look at we how, how we can build some noun phrases 
um, which might make this poor humble sprout seem more appealing. Start with your noun and add some adjectives. So my noun here are the sprouts, those scrumptious sprouts. Using scrumptious as an adjective makes me more likely to want to eat it. Okay, the Brussels sprouts have leaves. Ah, oh, crisp leaves. Mm, crispy things are tasty. It's a food, that's another noun. A green superfood. Anything that's super sounds good, isn't it? It's got a texture, a cheeky texture. Mm, cheeky, I wonder what makes it cheeky. And a scent, so the way it smells, an earthy scent. Okay, now you're going to have a go at that first before we start. So, for example, I've created a phrase here for you, a noun phrase. I've got two adjectives there, two of my pink words before my noun. My noun is food, a wonderfully green superfood. With the person next to you, I want you to put this phrase into a sentence. Here's my example. Sprouts, here's my noun, sprouts are a wonderfully green superfood that your body will love. Okay, pause the video, have a go at saying a wonderfully green superfood in a sentence to the person next to you. And then maybe you can share some ideas with the class. You don't have to talk about sprouts, you can talk about something else. Off you go. Okay, thank you for sharing those with some really great sentences. Okay, now we've had a practice. We're gonna go, you're gonna go and do this for some writing, okay? Now, my least favorite vegetable is a broccoli, okay? Oh, don't like broccoli, but I thought I would write a piece of writing about broccoli to make myself and to make other people want to eat some broccoli. And can you remember what those two types of word you have to have in your, in your writing? So you can tell the person next to you. Okay, it was nouns and adjectives. Okay, so I'm looking for those describing words. Okay, I'm going to read it now. Broccoli, this is my example. Broccoli is a rather tempting vegetable. It has amazingly fresh green stalks. On top of these stalks are appetising, melt-in-your-mouth florets. The very delicate florets are like a forest of goodness. You will love the surprisingly delicious taste. Broccoli is so versatile, it can be added on the side of any scrumptious healthy meal at lunch or dinner, but maybe avoid breakfast. Don't want any broccoli for breakfast. Gather yourself some broccoli to enjoy now. Oh! Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and have broccoli with my dinner tonight because that makes that some broccoli, so it makes the broccoli sound yummy. Okay. So what you could do here, if there are any words in there that you're not sure of, you can ask your teacher now to go through those. And what you could do is if you're not feeling very confident, maybe you could stay with your teacher and identify, look for some of the adjectives in this piece of writing here. If you are feeling confident, you could pick another vegetable. So you've got some pictures that I've sent over of some vegetables that you can write about. And I've also given you a word mat with some adjectives, some describing words on it that you can use. Okay. Hopefully you enjoyed doing that and are really excited to do your piece of writing. I can't wait to see what you write about those vegetables. And hopefully you can make me eat some more vegetables with my dinner. Okay, well done for your hard work and I really look forward to seeing your writing. Okay, bye!